Linda Perjay, music producer, and welcome to, I think, the number ninth in the series, How I'm Getting My Song, So Beautiful, by John Michael Ferrari, on the radio. And you'll know you're at So Beautiful by John Michael Ferrari if you see the beautiful pink rose. And So Beautiful is the single from the album Be the Smile on Your Face. And you'll know you have the right album if my goat, Ozzy, isn't she so cute? Okay, is on the radio. So, first of all, I want to thank everyone that went to nationalradiohits.com, nationalradiohits.com, and voted for John Michael Ferrari on both the AC and the country charts. It's so cool. I remember, like, what, about a month and a half ago that I just wanted him to get on that chart. And so let's see how it works. So this is nationalradiohits.com. And right there it says charts. And so let's go to the AC40 ch chart. And here's how you it works. So you scroll down. And he is now, let's see, he is now number 35 on that chart. He was 36 last week. And he's number 35. And he had 1,540 hits or spins, plays on the adult contemporary radio stations that this chart, National Radio Hits, uh, they monitor. He had 36 more spins last week than the week before. And this little triangle here, if you click that, it says, You voted for John Michael Ferrari. So beautiful. Thank you for voting. So I hope you do. I appreciate that a lot. And you can vote on each chart once a day with any email that you have. If I go to the country chart, 38. Now, let me tell you something about this number 38 on the <laughs> chart for country music. And this is terrestrial music, not music, uh, not digital music uh, exclusively. We were 48 last week. John Michael Ferrari, so beautiful, jumped 10 what do you call them? Spots? Levels? Tiers? I don't know, on the radio chart. So that in itself was amazing. On the radio stations, radio stations that nationalradiohits.com follows, Johnny had 1,821 spins. So these are not overlapped. These are plus, and that was 163 spins more than he had last week on the country charts, and I'm going to click, oh, you voted for John Michael Ferrari, so beautiful, thank you for voting, and really, thank you for voting, it uh, makes all the difference in the world, and I don't know, but I believe that it's a combination of the radio stations spinning his song, and you voting that, I call him Mr. Ten, I say, hey, Mr. Ten, you want to do the dishes? <laughs> no, I don't say that, but in any event, ten slots, or ten, I'll have to figure out what that word is. That's what uh, we're doing here. So that was nationalradiohits.com. Please go, I appreciate it. Now, New Music Weekly on Country Digital. And again, this is competing with all of the majors. Uh, Johnny is number 21, up from 23 on the chart last week. That's pretty cool. Just to give you an idea, the number one is Tony Land with the song New Girl. And they got 436 spins. John got 290 spins. Last week, 284 spins. So he's getting higher and higher. So beautiful. And Cappy, that's our label, Cappy Records. All right, so that's digital, country digital. And that's competing with everyone. If you scroll down, then you see what happens when you take out all the major labels and it's just John competing with the other indies. And drum roll, John is number 13 on this indie chart for Country Digital. That's one up from 14 last week. So that is uh, pretty cool. So then we're going to go to the New Music Weekly Hot AC, AC Radio. That's adult contemporary. And when he's competing with all of the major radio stations, we go and we find that he's number 22. That's up from 23 last week with 285 spins. Just to give you an idea, Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande with uh, their song, Rain On Me, their label is Interscope, they had 655. 655, 
and Johnny had 285 and John is 22 on the chart. And that's, uh, that's pretty cool, 22 on the chart. I mean, I'm saying. Oh, 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 I forgot. So if we go down to the Indy AC, John is number eight on the chart. He stayed on number eight on the chart last week and this week. That means you take out all of the major labels and just compete in with other indie, independent labels like us, our Cappy Rec Records. He's number eight. Yay, where are the fireworks? I said we should get sparklers or something. Okay, anyway, so let's move right along. So now we're at the Mew, New Music Weekly Country Radio. So radio play, terrestrial, like what you think of regular radio play, is harder to get on than digital play. So if you have a country uh, chart and you look for John Michael Ferrari, and I'm looking, looking, and there he is. He's number 38 on the chart with 215 spins. And then when we go down to country radio and he's just competing with other indies, he is number 18 on the chart. Or number 18 on the chart. So that's pretty cool. I think that's very neat. I like that. Um, I want to mention, so in Europe, there's a chart, lots of charts in Europe. This one's called Top 200 and Top 40 Country Music Chart. And the list of top artists, 200 artists, Johnny is number 62. So if you were here and you scrolled down, you would see a link to meet the DJs. Now these are DJs in I think nine or 10 countries in Europe, including Germany, Spain, Italy, France, Denmark, the Netherlands. Actually it's launched from the Netherlands. And John's number 12 in Belgium. <laughs> That's cool. And they have DJs from New Zealand. I just spoke to one today from Australia. And out of all the DJs that were listed, probably about 70, about 55 of them had emails, and I emailed individually each one of them. And 15, no, excuse me, now 16 of them have responded. We're having communication. Some asked me to send them a CD of Be the Smile on Your Face. I haven't gotten the CDs in yet, but they should come in this week. And a couple have said, well, why don't you just you know, send it to me using Hightail or WeTransfer or something like that, so I don't have to have this postage. And he's getting ready to play from these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. So that is a uh, very, very kill. Oh, by the way, this is Paul Loggins. I think, as I mentioned before, we had lunch with him last week in Nashville. Uh, John was recording six other uh, songs at Larry Beard's studio, B-E-A-I-R-D. Highly recommended if you're doing country or country crossover. Very cool people. Anyway, this is Paul Loggins. He owns Loggins Promotion. And he's a radio plugger or a radio promoter. And just in case you missed it, an earlier one, you know, he won't just take you as a client. You have to send him your file. He has to decide whether it's radio ready or not. And then if he decides it is, he'll take it on telling you he can't guarantee any radio play. He doesn't have a control over that. By the way, he's a cousin of Kenny Loggins. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. He's a very nice, cool guy. So beautiful, the single. So beautiful, last week, as far as I added it up, now math is not my forte, so it might be more than this, but I believe I counted 3,361 times that So Beautiful was played on either radio or digital radio last week. I mean, that's pretty cool. What, oh, that's, if you hear that little squeak, that's my cat, Smokey Gray. So that's what I want to say today, uh, be proactive. Uh, if you have something, reach out to the European. You can even say Pepper J uh, told me about you. And by the way, just a reminder, you can reach Pepper J or John Michael Ferrari on Facebook Messenger. So John is on Spotify. Thank you, everybody, for following him. I really appreciate it. He now has 1,151 monthly listeners. I'm not sure the difference yet between monthly listeners and followers. So I had to figure that out, but that's so cool. And interestingly enough, so beautiful that we're really pumping and promoting and doing everything we can to get out there is number two on Spotify. The one that has had more than 2,300 spins in the last several weeks is Who Can Blame a Broken Heart? So you might want to take a listen. It's a country song. It tells a story, a, 
about a real experience that John had when he was a teen, our early 20s. So there you go. Uh, Pepper J, how do I get my song on the radio? It's like throwing spaghetti on a wall and seeing what sticks. Thanks for listening. Appreciate it. See you soon. Bye.